Hello everyone, Preston Combs, Flatstick Academy here, coming to you with the putting stroke of my friend Rory, who was citing something didn't quite feel right about his putting stroke. Rory's a very good mini tour player, and when something doesn't feel right for a good player, that's kind of a red flag. And my first observation is typically how the player is seeing things and what we might be able to do differently in order to produce a better end result. Before we even get started with the stroke itself, I want to just point out Rory's eye position relative to the golf ball. And while there are no hard and fast rules suggesting that the eyes need to be in a particular spot, when good players, in my experiences, get their eyes outside of the golf ball, things might tend to get a little bit out of sorts. So we'll revisit that point a little bit later in the video here. As I play the stroke through a couple of times, Pretty obvious that Rory's experiencing some sort of leftward path pattern with a closed face as evidenced by the pile of three golf balls sitting left of the cup and uh, something Rory wasn't thrilled with. He was admittedly aware that he wasn't hitting the start lines, wanted to get some good information and feedback as to why that was happening. So we'll take a second to pull up his Sam Putt Lab report here. And as we take a closer look at the numbers, it's pretty obvious that that everything we were seeing in the eye test is pretty accurate here. First off, we've got that close-faced impact, as highlighted by the specific numbers and degrees on the left-hand side of the page here, and a total spread ranging anywhere from 7 tenths close to 2.2 degrees close is far too big a spread for a player of this caliber. Somebody looking to compete at this level, I'd like to say that their total spread of a face at impact is no more than eight tenths of a degree or anywhere from four tenths close to four tenths open. That's square enough to make putts and we're going to couple that with the evidence of a leftward path that we also saw in the video. Now it's nice to show players these numbers in this type of setting however I think it's more important to give them a clear picture as to what things look like. Rather than just relying on the 2D video, I made it a point to show Rory the Sam Putt Lab software, which is uh, 3D Putt, and it's a rendering of the data collected in the actual report that you can clearly see via the yellow movement path line that Roy's got that face closed and that putter head traveling to the left through the hitting area. So he saw that, knew he wasn't hitting putts online, none of this really came as a surprise to him. So time for us to get to how we decide to help Rory during this putting session. So remember that uh, eye line that we talked about earlier? Well, let's take a look at that again and kind of see where, see where things are and how we handled it from there. We'll start with the setup position. And the first thing I did was employ the pencil drill, which is a great drill that David has shared with me some time ago, and placed a 12-inch alignment rod pretty much on line with his uh, golf ball and target there. Used a laser to double check everything. And I asked Rory where the rod was pointed, and his immediate response was left. So I asked him to make some adjustments to set up to it so that that rod appeared square. And the very first thing he did was move further away from the golf ball. You'll notice how close he's standing to the golf ball here, probably about six to seven inches or so. Perfect world, I'd like to see players between nine and 12 inches away from the golf ball. So. We made those setup adjustments, and as we got him a little bit further away, his perception of straight immediately changed. We were able to take a look at the after image here, and you can see that as Rory gets into his setup position, we've got those eyes fraction inside the golf ball. Much different appearance for him compared to where things were when we first started off. And he said all of a sudden immediately, that pencil drill that we were having him look at, Rod appeared right on line, and the discomfort that he was experiencing dissipated. And he said he felt like from this spot he could have a much easier time uh, managing the face and path relationship. You can see he's definitely further away from the golf ball at this point as well. And we're going to take a look at his stroke in the after setting here and see how things stack up. And all of a sudden it's pretty clear that he's better able to manage the face at this point. He doesn't have to work as hard to try to shift things back online, and he's not fighting that path issue anymore. You'll see we also incorporated use of the Visio Me Putting Template Pure Arc as a frame of reference for him, just a gentle reminder of what path of the putter should look like during the stroke. 
and when we wrapped up with a few putts on the arc, I thought it was safe to say that we found the areas for him to be mindful of and establish some useful feelings here. As we took a look at the Sam Potlab report after he completed use of the Visio Me putting template, you can see all of a sudden the consistency of his putter face improved dramatically. 99% consistency for both the face of the putter through the hitting area and the path of the putter as well. And you'll see a lot more of what I'd expect from a player of this caliber, which is that face staying very, very close to square through the hitting area. And for Rory, a very important piece, a much more neutral path. And all of these pieces and improvements are product of a good awareness of the setup, uh, making sure that he stands far enough away from the golf ball, and that also helped get the uh, heel of the putter back down on the ground. As he got a little bit closer, the handle tended to get a little high, and we saw some uh, evident toe strikes at that point. So even at this level, really important to emphasize to always be aware of the basics that allow players to make a good stroke. And that's regardless, again, regardless of your ability level. If you're somebody that's looking to compete at the highest level and this is part of your career, the attention to detail is incredibly important. And even if you're just the weekend golfer taking a look at this video, the same rules apply to you as well. It's a perfect example of the need for this attention to detail because if you do have a day where you change the setup position, all of a sudden your perception of straight can change and consequently you might start having to manipulate the putter or force it to try to do something else to, to accommodate a new pattern because everything's moving in a different direction than you're accustomed to. We'll take one final look at the 3D software and Sam Putt 3D showing us what Rory's stroke looked like after we had made the changes and you can see a night and day difference there as if the video wasn't enough confirmation we can see that even without the Viziomi putting template there Rory's still quite comfortably able to get balls started online and a much more neutral path as well so a lot of pieces to take away from something like this a uh, positive experience for Rory. Next thing for us is sharpening the green reading side of things and making sure that now that we're getting putts started online that we're also picking relevant targets too, which is part two of this. All that said, in your practice and play, make sure that you're paying attention to the small details that can have the biggest impact on your putting stroke. Preston Combs, Flatstick Academy here.